The number of West Nile virus cases in the United States has nearly doubled in just a week, spreading across a broader stretch of America. Most of the cases are in the southern part of the country, with nearly half of all the cases reported in in Texas alone, and where the death toll has risen to at least 21 people. CCTV's Ginger Vaughn has more from Houston. U.S. health officials are struggling to keep the West Nile virus from spreading further. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control reports over 1,100 cases of West Nile virus, with nearly 630 so-called neuroinvasive cases, the type of infection that can cause meningitis-like symptoms from brain swelling. The CDC also reports a total of 41 deaths. Texas has been the hardest-hit state by far. The CDC's data tables show over 530 West Nile cases in Texas and 19 deaths. Neighboring state of Louisiana has 73 cases of West Nile and six deaths. In Mississippi, the number of cases has reached 79 with one death. The mosquito-borne virus appears during hot summer months in the U.S., typically in humid areas. This year's West Nile strain may be deadlier, too. In the next couple of months, we're going to really understand if this was a, indeed a stronger virus than what we had seen before. But what people don't really think about is what happens to those individuals after they've been infected. And what we found is that for people who have what we call neuroinvasive disease, so they have encephalitis or meningitis, about 60 to 70 percent of them never return to their normal status again. They don't return back to being normal or, or functioning normally again. So there's a lot of long-term effects from this infection. Here in Houston, the number of cases of West Nile virus has jumped in the past week and health officials are struggling to combat the outbreak by spraying insecticide by truck during the day and by aerial spraying at night. Our main focus is to control disease and to monitor for West Nile virus. Last night, uh, our, uh, the aerial operation covered 63,000 acres. We can supplement our, our ground uh, spraying okay, by truck with aerial, and that really helps a lot because a plane can cover a lot of ground in, uh, in one night. The CDC has already sent two teams to Texas. Experts like Dr. Murray say she'll need all the help she can get, as mosquito season is expected to last at least another month. Ginger Vaughn, CCTV, Houston, Texas.